So before we proceed a little bit about me, I'm currently in the final year of B.Tech at Jadavpur University. I have a gate rank of 150 in 2020. I'm currently placed at a top pharmaceutical company. I have four months of research experience at IIT Kharagpur and I also have a research paper which is under review. Hey guys, I'm back with another video today and today we'll be talking about the newly added topics in gate chemical engineering. So uh, in 2021, uh, IIT Bombay is conducting GATE and they have added uh, some new topics uh, and let us discuss how we can study those topics. So first we'll talk about uh, chemical reaction engineering. The first topic that they have added to chemical reaction engineering is kinetics of enzyme reactions that is the Michaelis, Menten and uh, Monod models. So uh, and the second one is rate and performance equations for catalyst deactivation. So let us understand from where we can actually study these topics. Okay, so I, uh, you know, I would request you that you, uh, for the purpose of this part, the uh, kinetics, uh, the kinetics of enzyme reaction and monod models, you follow Levenspiel. Okay. Um, as especially for you know this kinetics of enzyme reaction uh, this portion is given very well uh, you try to uh, study all the models and how um, those uh, you know um, equations are applied to CSTR batch PFR etc and you s there are many examples as well and then there are exercise problems which you uh, obviously should try to solve in the very next chapter you have uh, the monod model and uh, this this comes around you know 28 29th around 27 to 29 chapter in Levenspiel third edition uh, you will find these uh, the, this portion okay you should uh, go through it thoroughly and if you are facing some difficulty in understanding um, this topic so I would request you to go uh, through a particular lecture and this is the lecture I'm talking about this is Biochemical Engineering NPTEL lecture. Um, this is from IIT Kharagpur. And this biochemical engineering, uh, th there are a lot of uh, you know good lectures here, and um, you know you should actually study this portion from biochemistry and thermodynamics of enzyme. You know Michaelis Menten kinetics. You know this these two lectures are very important here. And if you want to study the monod uh, models, you should go. To this microbial growth phase and model lecture. Uh, these, uh, this, uh, they have explained it. If you are not able to understand from the book, you should actually refer this uh, lecture series. Okay. And if we are talking about the deactivation of catalyst part, then I have already discussed uh, in my CRE video that you should follow the lecture series of uh, chemical reaction engineering to by Ganesh Professor Ganesh Vishwanathan of IIT Bombay. Now, in this lecture, you have to just study. Uh, this catalyst deactivation part from lecture 13 that is cat catalyst deactivation from here uh, to these four lectures up to this lecture 16. So from lecture 13 you study up to lecture 16. Uh, that will be enough for the catalyst deactivation part. If you want to refer some books you can go for Fogler because Professor Ganesh Vishwanathan himself is uh, following Fogler over here. Okay, So that will be sufficient. Now if you want to practice some problems you can go to the assignment section of the respective week and you can check out some of the problems based on the deactivation. Okay, And definitely you have books like Levenspiel where you can find many uh, problems based on catalyst deactivation. Okay. Now let's talk about uh, fluid mechanics. Now fluid mechanics there is not a very major addition but uh, this equation of motion and mechanical energy and transport properties See, I have not yet made a complete full-fledged video on fluid mechanics, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I highly recommend the lecture by Professor Suman Chakrabarti of IIT Kharagpur. This name is NOC Introduction to Fluid Mechanics. Now, this is a very good lecture series and though I have not made a detailed uh, fluid mechanics video yet, but even if I make in future, I will be talking about this lecture series in particular. Now, over here, you have to uh, study the equation of motion uh, and uh, such such all of these all of the equation of motion is actually included uh, in his lecture okay so this is very important that you actually go through this entire 
a lecture series and you will only after you go through this entire lecture series you will be able to develop a deep understanding of fluid mechanics okay so this is a highly recommended lecture series okay very uh, very important okay so uh, over here you will easily find uh, as you go through it you will easily find all the topics that you actually need okay you have the euler's equation this is the equation of motion and later on you have the energy equation portion as well after the you know the reynolds transport theorem they actually they derive the energy uh, equation portion as well after this okay so uh, this is actually very important because students what they do they only study bernoulli equation and actually bernoulli equation and energy conservation and equation is not the same thing okay so energy conservation and bernoulli there is a difference and many students do not know what is the difference so you should actually uh, sincerely follow this uh, lecture series i would rec i myself have watched almost all the lecture series but you should actually skip all those portions which are actually not directly required like for example navier stokes you can actually skip because it is not relevant to gate okay now um okay so Uh, this is all about this portion and if you want to uh, take a book as a reference then definitely go for senjel it is an amazing book it has many solved problems and it is uh, they have explained the concept in a very lucid manner okay next one is a uh, process dynamics and control now what they have uh, written in the uh, you know in the syllabus is transducer dynamics transducer dynamics is nothing but the second order uh, you know dynamics that we already study if you want a confirmation on this you can actually go and watch uh, the video by uh, industrial instrumentation nptel lecture and the initial portion they have discussed the dynamic characteristics okay where you will see that uh, a transducer is particularly a second order in nature when you watch the first and second video i think i think this video you will know that professor alok barua has um, he has explained uh, how the dynamics actually looks like it is basically a second order kind of a dynamics okay and uh, also pnid symbols which is uh, this, which have been added now for this i refer uh, the book by kafner process system analysis and control uh, the book by kafner and in the kafner book uh, there is ninth chapter of this book and piping and instrumentation diagram symbols have been added over here and they have beautifully discussed how the nomenclature of these symbols are done basically uh, what is the first letter in this symbol what is the second letter in the symbol and what is the convention that is being followed you will actually give a look into this i don't think very tricky question will be asked but if you once get the trick you know and uh, then you can answer most of the problems i feel okay i think they will be asking common questions only from this topic so uh, you should also know the instrument line symbols over here they have given in a concise manner if you want a video on this then you can go and uh, you know uh, follow a particular lecture uh, let me show you which one so this is the lecture chemical process instrumentation iit kharagpur by professor debashish sarkar and uh, at the end of this the end uh, the last week this video lecture 58 is where he actually um, you know discusses about the pnid and how the, what is the convention and if you are not able to understand from kafner uh, go and refer this uh, lecture he has explained in a very easy manner okay so okay let us talk about now okay mass transfer operation now this is the major portion that has been actually added okay because when you are writing membrane separation processes they have now they have written microfiltration ultrafiltration nanofiltration and reverse osmosis now membrane separation is a huge topic in itself and you can have books which are only based on these topics okay you can find books which are only based on reverse osmosis itself now how should we approach this topic now this will be a challenge for many students what i find is that the easiest way to read a topic for gate of this type Uh, where you have a huge uh, huge possibility but obviously you cannot read an entire book right now so i would recommend you to go for a book called and this is a book that everybody almost uh, almost everybody has heard of i feel okay it is not an unknown book so let me take you to this uh, book actually so this is the 
This is the book by B.K. Datta. And in this book, you have a membrane separation chapter. See, now what is happening is, I am recommending you to study one particular chapter of an entire book and not an entire book. Okay. Now, in this chapter, they have explained it in a concise manner. Okay. So, if you go here, you will see that all the topics that have been mentioned in the gate syllabus, they are all covered here. Now, you have to study selectively. There is actually more than what is needed over here. They have added dialysis and all those topics as well. But you should have, you should skip those topics and, um, you know, you have to selectively study from this one particular chapter only. So this will become easy for you. Okay. Unless uh, someone might recommend you that you go and study an entire book of membrane separation, but I will recommend a particular chapter of a book only. I will not uh, tell you to study an entire book right now. That is going to be very tedious for you. So uh, that is all for now and um, like share and subscribe and uh, I hope this video was useful to you and uh, I will see you in another video very soon. Uh, thank you.